Hey guys, what's up? So we are back with another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top three festival hacks. Now I've been going to festivals since 2015. EDC 2015 was my first rave and that's really when I fell in love with EDM music, rave culture and things like that. So I've been going to festivals for a while now and I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys my top three festival hacks. Before we get into the video though, if you guys could take a second and hit that subscribe button down below, it would really help me out. Alright, now let's get started. So the first tip that I have for you guys will actually save you a lot of money. If you guys go to festivals or if you've been to festivals before, you know that they have the free water refill stations, but they also sell cold water bottles for five dollars. So what I do when I first get into the festival is I walk around and I look for someone that's selling the cold water bottles and they also usually have bags of ice to keep the water cold. So if you actually just ask them if you can buy the ice, they should only charge you two to three dollars for the ice. Fill your entire hydro pack with ice as much as you can and then take it to the free water refill station and you'll actually have cold water in your hydro pack for up to two hours. So it's actually a lot better because if you guys have been to festivals, you know that you want cold water. When you're hot, when you're dancing, you want cold water. You do not want room temperature waters. So this is what I've been doing at all of my most recent festivals and I actually ended up saving a lot of money. I think my first EDC that I went to before I thought to do this, I spent probably $100 on cold water bottles throughout the whole weekend over three days, I, I think I spent about $100 on water bottles. So if I would have known this little hack, it would have saved me a lot of money. So if you still want cold water but you're on a budget, then that's definitely the way to go. Alright, so the second tip that I have for you guys is as soon as you get into the event and you get your cold water, I always, after that, I always go straight to the bathroom. It doesn't even matter if you have to go to the bathroom or not. I go into the porta potty and I take some of the toilet paper out of the porta potty and I roll it up and I put it in my fanny pack because I know that if I have to go to the bathroom like later in the night or maybe even closer to the time that the festival is gonna end there's no way that there's gonna be any toilet paper left in any of the stalls so I either always bring a pack of tissues unopened of course or I go into the bathrooms when I first get to the festival and I steal some toilet paper <laughs> I'm a toilet paper stealer <laughs> But yeah, you'll definitely be thanking yourself for it later, so grab some toilet paper before it runs out. Alright, the third and final tip that I have for you guys actually has to do with the lost and found. So, say you brought like a jacket or something like that because you knew it was going to be colder later, but you don't want to hold it all night long, and you also don't want to pay for a locker. So, this is what you do. You go to the lost and found and you give them the jacket and you say, I found this, and then they'll take it for you and they'll hold it. And then at the end of the night, when you get cold, just go back to the lost and found and be like, I lost my jacket. Did anyone turn it in? And then they'll see that, you know, someone did turn it in and they'll hand it to you. And then boom, free storage. You didn't have to pay for a locker and you didn't have to carry your jacket around the whole night. So this works with jackets, totems, anything that you guys might have brought, but you're like, oh, this was a mistake. I don't want to carry this around. Just take it to the lost and found, turn it in and then get it later. So yeah, those are my top three festival tips for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you try any of these hacks, please let me know if they work for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to hang out with me more, all of my social medias are linked below. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And I also stream on Live Me four times a week, so if you guys want to come into my live streams one of those times, then I would be happy to have you guys. So all of those links are in the description. That does it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye guys!